Why leap day? Well, it mostly has to do with the time it takes for the Earth to revolve around the sun, which is 365 days. Eh, technically, no. Technically, one year is a hair longer than 365 days. So you see right here, that extra quarter of a day needs to be accounted for somehow, somewhere. Otherwise, if not within 100 years, we would be off by four weeks, meaning the first day of spring would happen in February, and at some point, the 4th of July would be celebrated during the winter. So that's why once every four years, we add that extra day to the calendar. Problem solved, right? Eh, almost. Still not entirely, because even with that in place at this rate, in 100 years, we would still be off by 18 hours. So that 18 hours needs to be taken into account as well. So we go back, look at the century years. You see here years 1700, 1800, 1900, those were not leap years. The year 2000, that was. So in order for a century year to be considered a leap year, that needs to be evenly divided by 400 or divisible by 400. Otherwise, we're still gonna be way off. But with all of this in place now, back to the calculations, it's going to take over 3,000 years for us to be off by one day. So that's why, for the most part, every four years, we have a leap day.